Is it looking good? Am I looking fancy? How's the image? How's the sound, you guys? Oops. Back on live image and sound. Okay. Hi. I love you guys. No self. Don't pick nose on webinar. Um, all right. Okay. Let's do this for shizzle. So the, the first step, okay, is getting you obviously to believe that he's still out there. Cause you know, that that's where it starts. If, if you can't believe that, you know, your thoughts are your reality, right? So if you can't believe that he's still out there, he's just not going to be. If you believe every guy's a dick, then every guy's going to be a dick. It's very hard for the universe to break through your beliefs. So a lot of this stuff starts with your belief system. And, and when we can work with your belief system, we can just pile all the other stuff on top and it makes it a whole lot easier. So... I got you believing that he's still out there, which is amazing. I got your amens. I got your yes sisters. Now what I want you to do is I want you to calm your mind because I want you to remember that like attracts like, and I want you to understand that you will attract somebody whose vibe, whose frequency very much mirrors yours. And if you're in an anxious state of mind, if you're in an insecure state of mind, if you're in a frustrated state of mind, if you're in an angry state of mind, you will attract somebody who's in the same state of mind because we seek what's familiar, even if it's wrong for us. And so whatever state of mind that you're in, not only will you attract it, but it's going to feel like home. And so you're going to perpetuate it. So you're going to attract that same energy in and, and it's going to feel comfortable enough to stay. But then that's what's going to bounce it back and forth between you. So let me ask you a question. If I asked you what your state of mind is for the most part, and be absolutely brutally honest here, like, like you know, listen, there's with me included, there's eight of us here, right? So this is like among friends. Nobody's going to tell on you, uh, you know, but what is your state of mind? Like, Right in the comments, in the chat here, tell me what it is that you feel most of the time. Sherry says frustrated. Let's get some more, guys. I really, I want to take your temperature right now, okay? I want to stick that probe inside of you. I want to find out where you are. I want to find out what you're feeling. Latoya, hopeless. <laughs> Eye rolling. Yeah. Who else? Who else? Deanna? Lara? What are you feeling? What, what's, what's the state of mind that's, that just kind of goes through you more often than not? What is the feeling that you're experiencing? Frustrated, negative. Are you guys, are you guys seeing the commonality here? Lara, frustrated, right? Okay. So we need to change that. Right? Do you agree? If, if you agree that this needs to change, uh, sorry, I feel like giving up. If you agree that this needs to change, give me an amen, sister. Give me a hell yeah. Give me an I'm ready. Give me a this shit's got to go. Give me some indicator that you agree with me that this can't continue on these feelings, frustration, negativity. Um, you know, all the goes already taken. Jennifer, you can't come into this thinking that. Jennifer, I want you to write. Laura, thank you. Amen. Jennifer, right now, right now, I want you to write an opposite statement. I want you to put this energy out. I want you to put this in the chat and press send. Because even if you don't fully feel it and believe it, I want you to start rolling this energy inside of you. So I want you to write all, I want you to write the best one is waiting for me. The best one is out there for me. Something like that. The best one is on my path. Jennifer, do this for us. You know, you who's thinking this, I want you to be the first one to turn this around. I want you to put that opposite statement in the chat so we start this energy rolling. We start getting it out. 
because we need to replace it, right? Like I see, yes, Laura, you do have to be positive. Jennifer, I'm waiting for you to write that. Um, here's the thing, in this body, there's only so much room, right? Like, like I could put more blood in my veins, but that's not gonna work well for me because my veins have, the it's, it's at capacity, right? Deanne, the best is still to come. Love that, thank you, girlfriend. Um, you know, if, if I put another stomach inside of me, there's, there's, that's not going to work. There's only so much room. And that's what it's like when it comes to your emotions, right? And, and if you're filled with negative emotions, you've got to get some of those out so you can put some positive ones in. And you absolutely need to do that because this, this feeling that you have, these negative feelings, yes, Jennifer, I love you. The right one is in my path now. I oh, I got a shiver. I don't know about you, girl, but I just felt that right here in my solar plexus. So good. Thank you for that. That was super powerful. I felt it, and I'm grateful that you wrote that. Um, you need to shift some of this negative energy out so you can put some positive energy in so you can put that right person in your path because the one you want doesn't feel like you feel right now. Am I right? The one you want does not feel how you feel right now. You don't wanna be with somebody who's feeling negative, who's feeling frustrated, who's feeling hopeless. You don't want that person. Guys, write in the comments, what emotion, what main emotion do you want your future partner to have to feel, to embody, to have coming off of him like waves, like vibes. What energy do you want him to have to infect you with? I want to see this in the comments. What is that main emotion that you want to sense off the partner that you're going to spend lazy Sundays with? What does he feel like? Tell me, confidence, love. Oh my God, I'm getting shivers, you guys. You guys, amazing, okay? These are the feelings you need to embody. Think about who your partner is. Think about how they feel. Think about what it's like to be in their arms, home, right? So what is home? Home is comfortable, home is cozy, home is that place where you, you, when you're out in the world, you can't wait to get back to, because you can you can whip off the bra, and you can just get in your jammas. Let me tell you, I'm in my jammas right now. I got I'm I'm looking cute above the waist, but below the waist, I'm in like cozy socks and jamma bottoms, right? And that's that's home. It's it's that place where you're just so comfortable, and you know you got to go out in the world and you got to go accomplish other things, but you love being home, safety, right? But how safe would someone feel if what they're feeling off of you is frustration and hopelessness, right? They're gonna they're gonna feel protective of themselves because they're gonna be like, that's that's not a vibe, that's not an infection that I want entering my body. I'm gonna have to shield myself against that. And you don't want him to feel this way, which means you need to change your vibe so that when he comes into your vicinity. What is coming off of you feels like home to him, right? You can't think, I'm going to find a partner and then I'm going to feel better. You need to feel better and find a partner. And I'm not saying stop looking. I'm not saying take yourself out of the equation. This is where the no kissing for three months rule comes in. It gives you that time and space to keep working on yourself, to motivate yourself, to change yourself. Love is being uplifted, encouraged, motivated, inspired. Yes, honey baby, and we're doing that here, are we not? Adoration, oh man, I make my husband laugh every day because, you know, I mean, it's here's something he did. Uh, he works in a metal shop, so he's got like a piece of chalk in his pocket and he'll write like on a piece of metal and I'm fascinated with his hands. He's got the sexiest man hands ever. And and I, I peeked around his shoulder when he was writing on the piece of metal and I go, that's hot. And he just cracked up laughing because I give him googly eyes every day. And he doesn't give me, I mean, he says, I, I, I hump you every day. And, and that's great. I don't, I don't necessarily notice that he's eye humping me, but his kisses definitely tell me that he greatly appreciates me 
and and that I am his world and I am his everything. And we kiss every day. So I, I really, I get to feel that coming off of him every day. So we know that you need to feel like he's still out there. We know that you need to change your energy so that when he comes across your path, you feel familiar enough for him to lean into. And, and we know that you need to feel the way you want him to feel so that he has a sense of home himself, right? Because you want to feel like he's home to you and you want him to feel like you're home to him. So how do you do that? Meditation, meditation. And Sherry has started meditating. Deanna has been meditating. Deanna, are you still up with your meditation? Uh, Sherry sent me a message today. She said, I'm gonna try and, and go from 10 minutes to 20 minutes and doing 10 minutes in the morning to 10 minutes in the afternoon. So I want you guys to grab some pen and paper and I want you to uh, make some notes right now because I want to get you started on meditation. These negative feelings that you have have perpetuated to the point where you need to change your brain structure in order for you to, to alter, to shift those feelings. So Lara, here's what you're gonna do. I want you guys to meditate on average a minimum of 10 minutes a day. Deanna, I also started to play positive vibrations when I listen at work. That is so good. That's a great, great, great technique. I highly recommend that. Um, now, who here thinks meditation is hard? Who thinks it might be too hard? Um, you know, who has this idea, oh my God, this, this crazy, crazy notion that meditation is clearing your mind. Let me tell you, sister, you are a woman. You have a vagina, which means you have a multitasking brain. They, they, they actually did like, like basically imaging of thought patterns from men to women and, and blue lines were the back and forth and orange lines were the crossing of the hemisphere. And men's thought patterns, it was, it was so enlightening to see this because the way that men think, first of all, there's a lot less lines. Second of all, it happens a lot within the same hemisphere. So their brain function is think and do, and think and do, and think and do. And that's pretty simple. And, you know, it's interesting because you'll ask a man sometimes, what are you thinking of? And, and he'll kind of go, and, and he'll try to remember what was the last thought that went through his head, come up with nothing. And he'll say nothing. And literally, he literally was just zoned out. He was in a nothing place. Um, we don't, we don't really go there. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's an effort to go to a nothing place. And when you look at how our thoughts happen, it's back and forth quite a bit because it's think, consider, have a conversation, consider some more, do some planning, and then do. So there's a vast difference in the way our brains function. So I don't ask you to stop thinking during meditation. I don't, I just, I just think that's unrealistic to say sit down for 10 minutes and clear your mind. Not gonna happen. I've been meditating for four years and I've been meditating like a freaking Buddha for four years. Um, I'm doing on average at least 20 minutes a day and and I still don't clear my mind like I have I have moments where I go into complete stillness and it takes effort to go there and effort to maintain it um, but I use my mind during meditation because I know it's just gonna go places anywhere so here's what you're going to do first of all commit to doing a minimum of, of average 10 minutes a day which means you know if you skip a day if you skip a second day then on the third day do 30 minutes and I want you to put a chart up on your fridge I want you to hand draw it I want you to print it out whatever your creative side what wants you to do color it in whatever you want to do make it super simple for me it was the ugliest thing you could possibly imagine because it was literally just drawn no ruler nothing and just smack it up on the fridge okay you don't need to put dates. You don't need to put days of the week. That first box is the first day, and then you just go from there. So first day, you're gonna write the minutes that you meditate. Say so you skip the second day because you're not in the habit yet. Mm, X in that box. You get to the next day, and you did seven minutes, seven minutes in there. 
You skip the next day, X in the box. The day after you do 20 minutes, you put 20, or you do 18, or you do 13, or you do two. It doesn't matter how many minutes you do, you write them in the box, you've earned them. If you split it up, you do five minutes, and then you do 10 minutes, then you get to write a nice little 15 in that box. At the end of the seven days, count your average. So every every minute that you meditated divided by seven is your daily average. And I want you to see, did you reach an average of 10 minutes? And if you did it, then the next block of seven days, you're gonna try a little bit harder. I want you to get to a minimum average 10 minutes a day. If you go over that, bonus, bonus, go for it. What are you going to meditate to? I make that part easy. You're going to go to my YouTube channel. So you're going to go to YouTube. You're going to type into the YouTube search Chantal Hyde. You're going to find me and have a playlist called Let's Meditate. Now, at the top of that playlist is a little tutorial. Here is how you meditate, ladies. It is so, so easy, okay? You sit in a chair, close your eyes, you wear headphones, you plug into the music, and, and I, like I say, I'm not asking you to clear your mind. I'm just saying every time you realize you're off in thought, I want you pretending that you're looking at the space right in front of your eyes and just bring your vision, even though your eyes are closed, bring your visual focus to that space right in front of your face. The split second that you're there is a split second that alters your brain structure. And this is what is going to make these feelings change, is changing your brain structure. This is called neuroplasticity. You're going to shrink your amygdala. This is the part of your brain where those feelings are coming from. Guess what? When you shrink that part of your brain, you shrink your capacity to feel those emotions. You thought maybe those feelings were hard to overcome, they're not. 10 minutes a day will change that for you, okay? Who is willing to do this? Who is jumping on board with doing these 10 minutes a day? Can I? Can somebody say, I'm in? I'd like to see who is in. Let me know. Say, I'm in. Who is going to come and join me Come, I would say the dark side, but it's not, ladies. This is the light side. So who is coming in? Deanna, Sherry, yeah, capital letters. You so are, honey bunny. Yes. Who else? Laura. Yes. Good. Good. Laura, are you, have you been to my YouTube channel yet? Have you been yet? Are you going to go tonight? Are you going to go listen to that first track? So. Again, I make everything so easy. The second track, so the first one is that little two minute tutorial. The second one, good, good, good. Has anybody else plugged into the love signal? So the second track on there is a 10 minute love signal. If you don't know where to start, you start with that 10 minute love signal, okay? Plug the headphones in, you sit in chair, close your eyes, Listen to the music. Every time you realize you're off in thought, pull your focus back to the space right in front of your face. It's going to change your brain structure just a little bit. Here's the thing. You're going to do it again the next day. Same thing, right? Maybe you feel pulled to listen to different music. Maybe you listen to the same music. I highly recommend anything by Rich Pendlebury, which you'll see are the first few tracks up there. Um, yeah, Sherry says it's easy. So... Rich Pendlebury makes meditation music for us, for me, for you, for my channel. He is producing music only for my channel. Ladies, we are special. We have one of the best binaural beats music producers. He makes this in his home in Salt Spring Islands, and he makes what I ask him for. I say, can you create me an abundance one? He made me a chakra one, which we haven't done the visual for yet, so I haven't uploaded it onto YouTube. Um, I, I said, I said, can you make me something that just helps you get through like a traumatic thing, right? So he's, he made the reset repair. So what you need, he made the love signal. The first one I asked him for was a love signal. So he made a 10 minute and I said, can you, can you give us a longer one for the people who just want to sit and just spend whatever time they need to with it? So he made a one hour. Um, 
Ah, uh, Chris Carr. Good, good. Having something, right? Having something. If you feel pulled towards something, if you feel compelled, follow that. That is your intuition. It is guiding you. It is lining things up in your path. So the very, very first step, you know, obviously is coming to a place where you believe he's out there because if you don't, he's just not. Because what you believe is. The second step, calming your emotions so that you feel like home to the person you want to attract. Now, the third step is fine tuning your antenna, right? This is the clarity step. If you don't know what you want, what are you gonna get? 